Hi everyone! Wednesday, Meditation Inspiration Day. Um, so, brand new um, oh meditation. I'm going to do a bit of a meditation with you. Um, <clears throat> for today, I wanted to cleanse the throat chakra. Because it's... Um, well, for most people, there's quite a lot of clutter damage, serious damage even, on the throat chakra. And this is because of... Um, of course, stuff from this life, but also a lot of things from past lives that have um, hurt, damaged our throats. Right? Because our throat chakra is also about being able to speak freely, to speak your mind, to speak your truth. And, um, well, just think about how life used to be in the past. We were not able to do that we were not allowed to do that it could cost you your life and there are people as well who had their heads cut off well just think about that you know that goes straight through your throat chakra that can leave an awful lot of damage and fear or anger or all of that right and same with hanging if, if you've ever been hanged in a um in a past life, uh, it's also the throat, the throat that cuts off your breath of life, even right. And um, oh yeah, it's it's really for many people really quite bad. That and and in this life, we often have, uh, as a child, for instance, we're not able to say how we felt, what we needed, or uh, no one cared much, right? And, and not in a bad way, per se, right? Parents often do care about their children, but they, uh, yeah, they can have a, a, a tendency to not see or hear what the child is actually needing, uh, wanting, and... Uh, I've had that, I've had that myself. When I was a little child, I already had a very high light, and um, that was never really seen or acknowledged. So things I wanted often were or needed to in order to feel good, to have my my just to feel good. <laughs> were not these needs were not met. And in my family, uh, I had a sister who was seriously ill uh, in the sense that she has a disease. And so a lot of my mother's attention went to my sister. Now, I'm not blaming my mother for that at all. You have no choice as a parent then, right? Um, but that meant that I wasn't hurt, really. And that, that kind of stuff can hurt your throat chakra. A lot of other stuff as well, other chakras too, right? But especially also the throat chakra. So um, we're going to work on that today. I'm sorry that I was kind of fumbling just now to tell what I wanted to tell. Uh, maybe that's also because of this throat thing. <laughs> Anyhow... <clears throat> We're gonna do work on the throat chakra, cleansing it, clearing it. Now I do um, want you to make sure you are grounded beforehand. That's really very important to always be grounded. And uh, so if you want to, then please close your eyes and um, go with your attention and your breath deep into your abdomen your lower abdomen, your pelvic area, breathe in there, go there with your attention. For now, when we are doing this, just let go of all other things that you were thinking about and uh, maybe still have to do. It will still be there when you're done, right? So breathe in there, relax. Your feet solid on the ground, legs not crossed. And then you go to your the, the, the tip of your tailbone. And then you draw a cord into the earth, your grounding. It can be a cord, a tube, a chain, 
a rope, whatever works for you. It can also be light, almost like a ray of light or a tube of light. And allow that to go into the earth straight down through the floor, through, if you're in an apartment building, all the floors. It just goes straight through there. And it's not affected by anything. It's your cord. It just goes through there. Deeper and deeper, deeper into the ground, and through all kinds of layers, soil, rock, deeper and deeper you go straight down to the center of Mother Earth. That's where you're going. You go deeper and deeper and at some point you see it is starting to get lighter where you're going. Continue to go deeper until you get to that place where it's light and warm. That's the center of Mother Earth and you can see there the crystal of Mother Earth in the center. There truly are crystals in the center of our earth. Maybe you see pink lights, maybe yellowish, maybe pink and yellow, so it becomes a bit of a peachy color. Maybe it's green or blue, it doesn't matter, whatever feels good to you. Now attach your cord there to the crystal of the mother. And do that in any way you feel fit. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. It's your grounding. You have to find your inner knowing, your way of doing this. So it can be gluing, using clamps, uh, using a hook or a button, or maybe it just gels together with the crystal. Maybe it roots in there anything that feels good to you and strong and then when you're done you go back up via that cord or tube or cable you go back up and up and up until you reach your body where you're set again and then you go with I actually feel it's important that you now flow the energy of Mother Earth back up into your lower abdomen. You can flow that up through your feet. You have channels in your legs, right? So via your foot chakras, you can allow Mother Earth energy to come up Go through your feet, your ankles, your knees, up to, through your lower leg, legs to your knees, your thighs, your groin. Especially the groin, allow it to flow through there. There can be a lot of clutter there. It's a delicate area, right, between your thighs and your lower abdomen, your pelvic area. Now visualize a bowl kind of thing, an energetic bowl in your lower abdomen. And Mother Earth energy flows in there. Maybe it also has a color. Maybe it's yellow or red, green, it can be any color, right, now feel that you're solid, well grounded, feel heavier on your chair because you're grounded and now you're gonna go with your attention to your throat chakra, your throat. 
breathe in there. Make sure your arms are relaxed, your shoulders, all the muscles in your shoulders allow them to relax. Your shoulders drop down, even if it's just a tiny, tiny bit. Breathe into your shoulders and out. And again, we hold so much tension in our shoulders, we can let it go now. We don't have to carry anything or anyone. We can let it all go. It just flows away, you can give it to the angels and then they will take it to the light. Now we go to the throat chakra and the color of the throat chakra is blue. Now you may need a lot of different colors of blue, different shades of blue. So start inhaling blue in your throat. Relax your throat and your neck. Do sit up straight, don't slouch, relax the muscles in your throat, your neck, maybe then your shoulders relax a bit more again and breathe in blue, royal blue, but also light blue electric blue if you like that turquoise breathe all these different colors in your throat and let them do their work there let them swirl around and cleanse and heal and go deeper in your throat chakra If you feel an emotion come up, just let it flow. Could be that you need to cry because your old hurt is now coming out. Then cry. Just let these tears flow. Maybe there's fear. Just breathe through it if you have fear or anger allow these whatever you feel if something does come up allow whatever it is to be there do not fight it do not try to get rid of it allow it to be there so if you feel anger because you weren't heard you weren't listened to, no one cared, you weren't seen, all these kinds of things. If there's anger, you do not have to lash out, of course, but allow that anger to be there. It ha it's there for a reason. And all the while, keep breathing in blue. Maybe you feel you need one particular shade of blue, then breathe that in. Maybe for you it's, for instance, mostly light blue, then go for light blue. Then your throat will need that to heal, to calm, to soothe. Now we're going to move our attention a little bit to our jaw, which is also part of the throat chakra. And there are tiny, tiny little 
energy channels in the jaw that can also be very well clogged and cluttered with dense energies from the throat chakra. So fill your throat with blue and then allow that to flow into your jaw. Maybe you can feel these tiny little canals in your jaw. Maybe you can feel your teeth. Allow it to cleanse, but do it gently. If you have pain, if it causes pain, visualize a button or a lever with which you can slow it down. And then you do that, then you slow it down to a level that is comfortable. I'm not looking for you to feel pain. Let the blue and energy flush through your jaw for as much as you can handle and cleanse it. And if there's any clutter, it will flow away. Give it to the angels, give it to the light. Maybe you can then visualize a light in front of you that almost like vacuums it up, whatever needs to go from your throat chakra. So you don't have to think about that. The light will deal with it. Allow it to go. Maybe a deep breath. And when you're done with your jaw, go back to your throat chakra and see how it feels now. Does it feel lighter, more relaxed, clearer? Did you see something being removed? Well, that you let go of then, right? you gave to the angels or that you gave to the light maybe also the back of that chakra from the neck you might want to spend a little moment to focus on that and maybe there's something there that you want to give to the light Maybe there is a cord that needs to be cut. But then before you do that, carefully see if that cord is indeed not of use to you anymore. You can then, if there is a cord, and that might not be for everyone, visualize a golden pair of scissors and then see if you can cut the cord and you put the end either end so your side and the other side that you cut free in a rose so there's two roses You always do that with love, never from anger. You can also ask Archangel Michael to cut away anything in your throat chakra that doesn't serve you. Because Archangel Michael is in the charge of the throat. Okay, now allow a light to be on in your throat chakra, a blue energy, a blue light, 
beautiful blue. If it, if it feels good, make it royal blue, because that's the color of Archangel, uh, Archangel Michael. But you can also, if that feels better and you feel you need different shades, to maybe have this like a crystal ball with a swirl of blue colors through it that move around like feathers. You can also do that. And before we go, it is important to often work with the throat because of what I explained, the, the, the severe damage that is on our throat chakras for almost everyone. And the throat is a very complex, uh, the voice right, is a very complex tool. So it needs a lot of different colors of blue in order to heal and to become, well, complete again in a way, right? So if you felt this was good to you and it, it helped you, then I do invite you to regularly do this. And thank you for being here. Slowly come back. Maybe you want to wiggle a little bit in your chair so you become aware of where you're set, of your body, your buttocks, your back against a chair. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes and still feel your grounding. You're still here, you're still solid. Okay? Hope you enjoyed that. I hope it did you good. And see you again soon. Bye.